Volt Electric Trim Tab System is an excellent addition to your boat and will help balance loads, plane faster, and increase efficiency and performance. Your authorized Bennett Marine retailer can assist you with this project from ordering parts to offering product information and advice. Bennett Marine retailers are there to help. Remember that if you do tackle this job yourself, please follow all applicable laws and remember to use the appropriate safety gear. After installing the trim tabs on the transom, it's time to rig the system. Start by attaching one of the Deutsch plugs to the black and white harness. Insert the actuator wire into the plug until it clicks. Make sure that the wire colors match up. Certain wires may be blue and yellow instead of black and white. If so, match black to yellow and white to blue. Now insert the locking pin into the connector. Double check that the wire colors match black to black and white to white. Then connect the Deutsch plugs. Apply sealant to the wire entry point in the transom. Now create a service loop with the actuator wire. This will assure enough slack for future maintenance. Next, feed the harness into the rigging conduit. If a pole string is used, wrap some tape around the plug to help it slip past the other wires in the conduit. Most of the slack should be pulled into the console. However, enough slack should be left in the bilge so that the Deutsch connector is accessible. Create a second service loop and keep the connector in the middle so that it can be easily unplugged if needed. The owner's manual of the control switch includes a true-to-size template for making the necessary holes on the console. The template calls for 3 16th inch holes for the fasteners and a minimum 1 inch hole for the wires. Run the control switch wires through the center hole. Make sure that the switch is oriented with the Bennett logo at the top. Use the plastic nuts to secure the control switch in place. Hand tighten the nuts, but not too tight. These also serve as a prevention to water intrusion. Connect the orange wire to the power source for the gauges at the helm. Connect the purple wire to the ignition switch or any 12 volt circuit that turns on and off with the ignition. This will power the trim tab control when the boat is started. The second wire has a plug that will be connected to the relay module box. This should be located in a dry location and should be easily accessible. There are four sets of wires coming from this box. Two sets are blue and yellow and are marked with red and green tape. Please note that certain models may have black and white wires. These wires control the actuators. The red tape marks the port tab and the green the starboard. The orange and black wires are for power. These should be connected to direct power. The fourth wire is gray and should be plugged into the gray wire coming from the control switch. The plug will click when correctly connected. Connect the harness from the actuators to the module box. Make sure to match the port with the port and the starboard with the starboard.
tidy up by making a service loop leaving the plugs accessible. Power the system up and test the trim tabs. Press on the down switches. Indicator lines should show the status of the trim tabs. Press up and again the lights should indicate the status of the trim tabs. Also, test the relay module box to make sure that it's operating correctly. The red light indicates power to the box. The flashing green light shows that the box has a good connection with the control switch. The port and starboard tabs have indicator lights that show power, connectivity, and will show the direction of the tabs when in use. The helm control switch of the Bolt Electric Trim Tab system can be customized for the end user. The brightness of the LEDs can be adjusted by using the moon and sun buttons. Also, the indicator LEDs can be switched. The standard setup lights up the starboard LEDs when the port switch is pressed because the starboard tab deploys. Users can change this setting so that the port LEDs light up with the port switch even though the starboard tab deploys. To change this setting, press and hold the sun button for 10 seconds. The lights will flash indicating the change has been made. To change the setting back, press and hold the moon button for 10 seconds until the lights flash. Finally, if the control switch is connected to the ignition, when the ignition key is turned off, the trim tabs will automatically retract to the up position. This allows for safe trailering or moving with a forklift for storage. If you have any questions, please refer to the manual. And remember, if at any time you feel like you're in over your head, contact your authorized Bennett Marine retailer for assistance. Thanks for watching and happy boating.